I still remember the first day when we got the PlayStation 4 uh, development kits. We were immediately impressed by just how easy and straightforward it was to bring that Diablo experience from the PlayStation 3 to the PlayStation 4. We're all console gamers ourselves, and we literally wanted to re-envision it for the console environment and the console controller. One of the great things about getting our hands on uh, the PS4 for the first time, before anybody else really out there got to play with it, was that Reaper of Souls was a pretty ambitious game on PC. We brought lots of new things. And it was nice because the power of the console really allowed us to translate that experience. I mean, the minute we were able to run the game at 1080p, just uh, it took everyone's breath away, just like, this is how it should have always been played. I think the end result sort of delivers a very beautiful visual. They really match really nicely with all the mayhem and killing of all the monsters you're doing on screen. It's a really sort of great uh, complement to one another. So it was very important for us that uh, the uh, Ultimate Evil Edition uh, was extremely responsive, that the gameplay was going to be fast and, and furious as it was intended to be. Getting the controls right, I think, was the biggest challenge. Just getting the feel um, really responsive and also get that kinetic feel of the action, um, getting the rumble just right. That meant that the DualShock controller had to be able to be as responsive as we hoped for. And uh, as soon as you hold it in your hands, you really get that responsiveness. You really get to have the action just stay true to the way we intended it to. Just from the very first moment of picking it up, the first thing I really noticed is the potential of the trackpad. I right? really wanted to figure out how we can use it in a way that felt natural, that it felt that it, it added to the experience. It wasn't necessarily a gimmick. Immediately, the fact that you click on either side of it, we thought that would make a great shortcut. So right click is straight to skills, left click is straight to inventory. And then um, once we got in there, we started saying, how would it cool, be cool to circle the radial menus using your fingers? And that felt really natural and cool. And then some smaller little improvements. We um, color the light bar towards your player's uh, color character. So you might be wondering which one you are. One of the ways you can look is you flip up your controller and, oh, look, I'm the orange barbarian. I guess I'm that one. So, you know, it's something small, but it, it's, it's a quality of life improvement that really helps to make the game even better. I mean, not only do we have this goal of trying to make the Ultimate Evil Edition really feel hand-built for the console, but specifically, we're going to make a few touches to it to make it feel not just hand-built for the console, but hand-built specifically for the PlayStation 4. The team had a lot of fun with the PlayStation exclusives this time around. You know, a lot of us have been playing Last of Us and just really enjoying it, and a lot of people are just huge fans of, of Shadow of the Colossus. So we, were, we just kind of went through the iconic PlayStation exclusives, and we kind of settled on those two. Shadow of Colossus, which is a personal favorite of mine, ends up being one of the armor sets that you can actually acquire. And Last of Us, which we've always admired the work that Naughty Dog does, has an appearance of characters in our game, and I think that our fans are going to have a lot of fun with it, as well as Sony players. We weren't making a port. What we wanted to make is a handcrafted Diablo experience that felt purposely built for those platforms. And I think with the Ultimate Evil Edition, I think we've really achieved that goal. Josh Mascara, uh, game director on Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls Ultimate Evil Edition. Thanks for joining us, man. Thanks for having me. It's great so, to be uh, here. Yeah, so the Ultimate Evil Edition. PlayStation.